You... Oh, funny guy. No, 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 no. The microphone. You do the thing with the microphone. You are... Mr. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Camel Toe. No. What? <laughs> yeah, you're real funny, aren't you? Ha ha. Funny, funny, ha ha. You know, rumor has it that you like to talk a lot. Rumor has it that this man is a bit of a big mouth. Well, I want to tell you something. Look around you. This is Monday Night Raw. Anything can happen on this show, and sometimes all a man has to stand on is his word. So, Mr. Crappy Pants. Kennedy! Yeah, yeah, whatever. I am about to put your word to the test right here tonight because you just came out here and said that it was these people that cost you your money in the bank opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, is it your fault that Mr. Kellogg's Crunchy Nuts is no longer Mr. Money in the Bank? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me right here that Mr. Colostomy Bag is a liar? Well, well, Mr. Kenny G. That's Mr. Kennedy yeah. to you. Yeah, yeah. And apparently to them and to me, your word is worthless. Which means I don't trust you and I sure as hell don't like you. More importantly, it means that there was one person responsible for throwing away the single biggest moment in WWE history. That man was Mr. A virtuoso performance and an accurate one. But there's only one man loyal enough to compete for the WWE Championship. And that one man, his record against you, John Cena, is absolutely flawless. Everyone knows the next challenger for the WWE title should be I, King Booker. You see, John Cena, it matters not what these peasants think. I have beaten you in the past. I have even made you bow down and kiss my royal feet. You can kiss my championship ass. How's that? <laughs> so therefore, I say, on this day, July 2nd, 2007, I hereby challenge you for the WWE Championship. Hey! The hits just 
keep on coming, JR! Kennedy! Kennedy, Booker, Mr. That's King Booker! Since both of you guys are new to Raw, and since neither of you are all that bright, let me explain exactly how things go around here. I've been on Raw the longest. I've been the most successful. I've ended the careers of Shawn Michaels and RVD. But most importantly, most importantly, I've never had a one-on-one -on -one championship match with John Cena. Bottom line, Cena, is this. These guys can argue all they want. But the cold hard fact is that no one on that roster deserves a championship match with you. I do. What? Cold hard facts. Cold hard facts. Mr. Kennedy, you had the money in the bank and you lost it. Booker. That's King Booker. How could I forget? King Booker. And Orton, you're both former world champions and you both lost. I never lost the ECW World Championship. Therefore, I am an uncrowned champion. I want the WWE Championship. And I won't rest until I take it from you. Well then, Bobby Lashley, I guess if you want it that bad, we're gonna have to do something about it then, are we? What the hell? What the hell? Hang on a second! Hang on just a second! Excuse me, but I have a very important message that concerns you all. Jonathan Coachman is on holiday, and so tonight, I am in charge. Oh my. By the end of the evening, we will know who the new number one contender will be. We will even have a contract signing in that ring by the time the show goes off the air. Now, fellas, I can see that you're all looking at me, thinking, how are we going to know who this new contender is. Well, it's through the system of beat the clock. Tonight, Orton, King Booker, Lashley, Kennedy, you will all compete in singles matches. And the man who beats his opponent in the quickest time will go on to compete for the WWE Championship at the Great American Bash against John Cena. Gentlemen, good luck. Randy, 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 look at me, yes. By the way, I hope you're all warmed up, sunshine, because your beat the clock match is next. And what a night! We'll find out an number one contender. The contract signing for the main event of the Great American Bash. I've got to beat the clock to get a chance to beat the champ. And I've got to do it live tonight.